Okay, this is a quick video introduction to Views plotting software. You'll open up the window and see a default blank graph. So the first thing you'll want to do is enter or import some data. We'll do this here under the Data Editor from the Data menu. Click on Editor, New, and we'll want a new numerical data set. You should name it something. We'll do Distance for the name of this data set. Click Enter. And then you can enter the data. You'll notice there's a place to enter symmetric errors. Those would be errors that are both the same positive and negative, or individual negative and positive errors. And those error bars will be automatically plotted by the software. This will be a pretty simple uh, test data set. I'm just entering values zero through or one through five with some reasonable symmetric errors. as if we had measured that data. And we can then add another data set, another new numerical data set. We could call, write that, um, let's call that transmission. This is something like a, what could be measured you know, optically or otherwise. Uh, enter down to five, let's just pick values this is something that might be uh, falling off not quite exponentially but add some reasonable error bars just as an example and like that so this is two those those data sets have done nothing to our graph those are simply data sets that are available in the data editor. And we'll see that we've got these two data sets. They're both five points long. We can see the size is indicated. They're both one dimensional data sets. We can close the data editor and we'd like to add these uh, graph, add this data as a plot to the graph. You'll notice there's a hierarchical, hierarchical, there's a hierarchy of data, uh, there's a hierarchy of objects specified in this document. So there's a document that's the whole item, the page, which in this case fills the document, and then a graph within that page. And we can talk about later on adding other graphs, but this graph consists of an x and a y axis. Now to that graph we want to add a scatter plot. So we can add points with lines and error bars, and we click on this icon here up in the toolbar to add an xy graph. And we'll notice that it hasn't yet added any data because we have to specify the data x and y data that we want to plot. So for our x data, we'll use distance. For our y data, we'll use transmission. And we see a beautiful graph already generated with the corresponding horizontal and vertical error bars indicated. So that's really the power of views compared to Excel. It would take a lot more steps to get this graph generated in Excel. We should um, add a key text something like experimental data. We can add an x-axis label, label uh, and re report our units. We can add a y-axis. Oh, we don't want those for labels. Sorry. That's going to be an axis label. All right. So the uh, axis labels go here for the axis. So the axis label for x would be distance in meters. The axis label for y would be transmission. And in this case, it's a uh, counts. All right. Uh, anything else we want to change by default? That's fairly good for a, a you know default first try uh, at a graph like this. So we'll have another video about adding fit lines shortly.